What's up guys, it's NFT Once, and today we're gonna to be talking about global offers. Global offers is essentially a tool on Nifty Gateway in which you can make an offer to a specific art piece and everyone who owns that art piece will get an email or notification that's basically saying someone out there in the market is willing to pay $2,000 for this piece. Whether they need want to accept it or not, that's up to them, but at least they know that at any moment's notice that in their email, they can just click accept and they get their money. So I'm gonna go over in this video three different ways that I've used global offers, sending them out in the past to snag really good deals under the current market floor. And then we're gonna be talking about a real life example of how I would use a global offer and then also show in a global offer that I, I had just made so that maybe you can see kind of like my thought process behind how I'm able to snag really good deals for under market. So the first piece that we're going to be looking at is this gray Dota 2 ring. As you can see, about five days ago, this piece was going for 245, 250, 235, 250, basically hovering around the 250 range. And then I remember seeing that this guy really wanted to sell, you know, his gray Dota 2 ring. And you could tell if someone really wants to sell their piece, if they keep paper handsing it, basically like they'll list it for 300, no one probably just lift it for 275, list it for 250, list it for 225. When I see that, it means that this person really needs the liquidity or is basically just scared of the current market condition. So when, every time I see that, I'll go in and I'll make a global offer saying, okay, I know that you really want to sell this piece, Maybe I'll just make a global offer for slightly below what you want to sell it at. And because you're panicking, when you see that you could sell it at a moment's notice, basically with one click at my price that I wanted, there's a really good chance you're going to accept. So I made an offer of 150 and lo and behold, literally in I think five to 10 minutes, he saw this offer and accepted. And then look right after, people were buying it for 439, 275, and the price just kept going up to 300. Meanwhile, in that exact time frame, I snagged it for 150. The second one we're gonna go over is actually one of my favorite pieces. I've talked about how much I love this piece by Peter Tarka. Um, it's called Slide. I got the number three mint. Got it for $720 about five days ago. But as you can see, um, it was going for, you know, 800, 750, 777, 950. And then I made a global offer that was really reasonable. The floor was probably around, you know, 850 to 900 at the time. And I made a global offer for 720. So keep in mind, when you make these global offers, you don't want it to be really low. It can't be a super low ball. It just has to be just enough above a certain threshold where they're going to be like, okay, it's only a little bit below the market floor right now, but I don't have to wait. I can just do it instantly. So that instant liquidity is what draws people in to sell it to your global offer, even if it's under market floor. So I got it for 720 and look what it did. It immediately went to 1000. The next example will be the serpent 41 out of 140. At the time, it was going for 444, 400, 399, five days ago, 320, 300. And then I saw someone paper handsing it. So I made immediately made an offer for 185, was able to snag that global offer and then look at the price. Now it's 275, 330, 250, 350. You guys can see literally I'm getting up to 20, 30% discounts on any piece. It's just making smart global offers, not ones that are complete lowball, like 50% lower, 80% lower, whatever. Literally very, very smart lowballs that are, are low enough so that you get a good deal, but high enough so that the seller can actually accept it and not feel bad about it. So let's just talk about this offer that I just made. I made a $180 offer on Eternal Zen. And let's see why I made that offer. So I'm actually really bullish on this piece. I think that this piece has like a three, 4K floor. It's such a nice piece. Uh, I think it's very underrated right now. And I really want this price. I think I'm gonna purchase it at this price if my global offer doesn't get accepted. But let's look at exactly why I made this global offer instead of just purchasing the piece upfront for this, which I think is a steal. I might purchase this <laughs> before the video goes up, but it's, this is definitely a steal. It represents a, like at least 40 to 50% upside within the next 48 to 72 hours. So if you look at the addition history, look at what he's doing. 2,700, 2,500, no one purchased. 2,375, no one purchased. 2,150, that was five hours ago. So that means I know that he's really desperate for liquidity. And that means I'm going to put an offer in at the 1,800 and see if he bites. If I get it at 1,800, I will be so happy because that means 80 to 100% upside for me, I think within the next few days. If I get it for 1800 right now, wow, look at the prices right now. There's a really good ramp for the for people to snag it up. If people see that this is getting purchased, then it makes sense for everyone to buy it in increments over time. 
And now say I wanted to make an offer on this piece. This is just an example of when I, how I would use an, a global offer in real time. The, currently the floor is 2,250, 23, and then three, th jumps up to 3,000. What I would do is if I want to buy this, we get a good deal. I would make a global offer probably at $2,000. So you can get a $250 discount. So the, the person who's going to sell it probably is going to think, okay, the floor is 2,250. This has been sitting for a day. I could just immediately sell it for 2,000. And then that'll save you a decent amount of money, about seven to eight percent on your purchase price, just by making a global offer instead of buying the floor. So the drawbacks of this is after you make a global offer, um, it'd be very unfortunate if someone snagged the floor before the person who is selling it at the floor looks at the global offers and accepts it. And that's bound to happen. And that's simply just the risk reward that you have to play. If you're playing global offers, then there's a chance that people are going to purchase before you or no one's going to bite on your global offer and you're going to miss the floor and you're going to miss all the upside that comes with the floor. But if you actually hit, there is really good chance that your upside is increased because you're getting it below the market floor. I hope that this video helped. Definitely leave a like um, and also just keep commenting what you think about these videos. I'm still learning about what videos to make for you guys. I'm going to try to upload one or two every single day, willing to hear suggestions and feedback on all these videos. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.